How do INFJs come across to others? INFJs are always looking for meaning in their relationships with others. They need to feel a connection, and know that they can trust the person, before investing themselves emotionally. INFJs take time to open up, but when they do, it is usually with someone who has shared values or morals. In this video, you'll learn more about how INFJs come across to others. 1. What is an INFJ personality, and what are the characteristics of this type? An INFJ is one of the personality types in the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, MBTI. This type can be identified by a preference for introversion over extroversion, intuition over sensing, feeling over thinking, and judging over perceiving. INFJ The characteristics that this person will typically possess are, they have an intense focus on their ideas and opinions. They tend to see things from other people's perspectives. Most of their decisions are made based on how something affects them emotionally. They may not always show it outwardly, but inside, INFJs crave deep connections with other people. They want to know what makes you tick, and they like having deep conversations with a variety of topics, including psychology, spirituality, and metaphysics. INFJs enjoy observing people more than interacting with them most of the time, because it gives them an opportunity to study human behavior in depth. 2. How do INFJs come across to others in a professional setting? Professional INFJs, are often analytical and strategic thinkers. They can be assertive, but they might struggle with the outward expression of their thoughts in a business setting. It is not uncommon for an INFJ, to have difficulty articulating what they feel inside, and this can lead to people misunderstand them at work. Communication coach Deborah Brown, suggests that our natural tendency may be to think we need something else to get things done, such as facts, data, research, skill sets. One tip that many say has helped them to better articulate themselves professionally, is taking time before meetings or presentations, to write talking points ahead of time, so as not to come across too timidly when presenting ideas. For people who want to understand INFJs more in depth, it's important to challenge your assumptions, by asking probing questions when interacting with an INFJ type. Be aware that this might take more work than what you're used to, but understanding them will make communication much easier down the road. 3. What does it mean to be an INFJ, in today's society? There are many stereotypes about INFJs. They're known as a shrinking violet, the wounded healer, and the intuitive listener, with their finger on the collective pulse of humanity. Beyond these labels or expectations from others, we can say they're highly introspective people, who are often misunderstood. When you pay close enough attention to someone like this though, you'll realize they possess a nearly infinite capacity for insight. As well as a natural ability to connect deeply on a personal level with others, and to be able to motivate people with a single conversation, this proves how cleverly selfless they truly can be. They often take on this life coach persona, and people who make it into their circle of trust. Have a deep appreciation and gratitude, for the clear and concise way the INFJ is able to pinpoint with great accuracy, what is wrong in their lives, and how they could improve upon it. INFJs often will leave behind some sort of imprint, that makes others want more time with them. As so, I would say society sees INFJs as great advisors, due to their ability to put themselves in other people's shoes. Seeing the world through someone else's eyes, while having great clarity of mind, creates the perfect blend to solve other people's emotional problems. 4. What do other people think of INFJs when they meet them? People normally like INFJs because they're nice and empathetic. They are usually liked by people because they make the best listeners, this is why their friends often come to them for advice on difficult situations that can't be easily resolved. They are also very good at understanding complex problems quickly, and guiding others through complicated issues, with patience and wisdom. At first glance, they might seem to be reserved and shy because they are not the most talkative people. On the other hand, they are very observant, and have a great deal of insight into other people. INFJs may feel uncomfortable being the center of attention, or they might be more reserved with those whom they do not know well. Do not mistake this shyness for lack of interest, you can be assured they are picking up on every little nuance, or piece of information, coming out of the other person, or the group. 5. How do other people misunderstand INFJs? Some INFJs might find it difficult to be the person who always feels responsible for the feelings of others. They may feel drained by socializing, if they are not able to take time out and recharge their energy. Furthermore, other people can interpret this behavior as being self-centered, or overbearing, 
when in reality, the INFJ simply wants everyone around them to experience a sense of peace and harmony. Being misunderstood, makes INFJs feel underestimated, and creates inattention. INFJs feel the need to relieve this tension by trying their best to understand where others are coming from, and would like other people to do the same for them. This is why they might seem oversensitive at times, and why they might need to take time when faced with too many stimuli, withdrawal from social contact will occur, when they feel emotionally overwhelmed. Regardless of how INFJs are perceived. As the best listeners with the best advice, or an overly sensitive and shy person. The truth of the matter is, that no other type is better equipped to understand, help, and direct others towards their best life. By using their intuition and clarity of mind, they are able to assist and help others, to be the best version of themselves they can be. If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, that will allow us to keep making more videos like this. For more related content please click on one of the suggested videos. Thank you for watching.